guys, it's Melanie. Happy Monday and welcome to another Mask Monday. I am hoping that you guys can't see my little wispies. I'm getting this new growth here in the front. <laughs> and um, yesterday actually they were like sticking like straight out and I'm trying to like slick them back a little bit. It's another hot day here in Oregon and um, my hair has honestly been living in this like tiny little ponytail for the last few weeks because I just can't stand having my hair down right now so um but that you know accentuates these little bad boys here anyway that is not the point of this video the point is that we are talking about uh Karuna face masks so I actually got both of these masks here from Octoly um if you guys are new to my channel Octoly is a website that I utilize. It is for Instagram and YouTube creators to be able to go and apply to review different products from different brands. Um, so you apply and if you're selected they send you the product for consideration. So both of these items were sent to me courtesy of Octoly and Karuna. So thank you so much for the opportunity to review these. Um, I am going to talk about both. They were kind of separate applications for me. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with this mask first. Um, this is a single mask and um, you can find Karuna at several different retailers. My favorite place to purchase these masks, because I actually have tried them in the past, is um, from Ulta. Um, Ulta has quite a few to choose from. Uh, you can purchase single masks there or you can purchase, um, you know, sets of masks. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the Skin Reviving Duo, and this one was kind of unique, and I wanted to um, review this one because this actually comes with um, two different components. So the first is this Under Eye Melting Boost. So these are basically, and you can kind of see it on the picture here, there are these little pads that you apply underneath your eye area that are specifically meant to target and treat that area um, and then there is a regular sheet mask that you put over top for the rest of your face so I thought that was really different and unique and um, I wanted to try it I have to say I found these um, under eye pads to be kind of difficult to use to be totally honest um, they are, they feel almost like rice paper. They're dry. So what you're supposed to do is wash your face, obviously, and then you're supposed to have wet fingertips and you're supposed to apply these little things under dry pieces of almost like tissue type paper underneath your eye area. It's, it was really hard for me to get them to stay and to adhere to my skin, even though I had wet fingertips, like it said in the instructions. Um, they just did not want to stay. So I ended up getting a little bit more water and really wetting that area down and then putting them on. But by that point, they had kind of torn and were kind of crumply in certain areas. Um, so I, I don't know that I got what I needed to from these, to be completely honest. Um, I kind of was almost tempted to um, take them off and just use the sheet mask, but I went ahead and put the sheet mask over top and um, the sheet mask comes in this little sachet here. Um, it's very typical sheet mask. It is a very um, sturdy, kind of thicker type fabric. Um, it does tear if you're not, you know, you don't have to be super gentle with it, but if you are ripping at it, you will tear the mask. But um, so you peel it off of like the little plastic thing, put it on your face. Um, I would consider myself to have a fairly round, big face. Um, I, I joke a lot about that on my channel and people are always like, you don't have a big face. I have in person. I do have, I have a larger face. <laughs> it just is what it is. I don't hate my face, but it has a larger surface area than I think some faces. And, um, so as a result, there are times where sheet masks don't always reach like the outer parts of my face here. The Karuna masks have always fit my face very nicely. They cover from like all the way up here, even down underneath like my chin area. So that was really nice. Um, this particular mask is supposed to be an age defying mask. So this is meant to 
reduce the signs of aging. So when I put this on, I typically leave most sheet masks on for at least a half hour. I'll put it on while I'm watching TV. They say to leave this on for about 20 minutes. Um, yeah, just about 20 minutes. Um, when I was done, I simply, I took it off. What was left on my face in terms of serum, I rubbed into my skin and then um, put a couple of other skincare items over top. Um, I will say after taking the mask off, my skin felt very refreshed. Um, it felt very soothed, very hydrated. The next morning I woke up and everything looked really nice and plump. Just really, really great. The only issue I had was I did have to remove a little bit of that leftover paper that didn't completely dissolve. So the idea of the paper that, that you put underneath your eyes here that is infused with skincare ingredients is that it's supposed to dissolve and be absorbed into the skin. Because in certain areas I had kind of wrinkled it up a little bit, I did have to sort of like peel that off in those areas. Um, I would have just loved the mask by itself without the little eye boosts. Um, now that being said, I think the more that you use these, you could probably get better at the application of it. This was my first time using this particular product, so, you know, I had a little bit of an issue with it. Um, they say to use this mask weekly. Um, I, I like to mask several times a week, but I'm sure you guys are aware of that based on the number of masks that I review. I just, I really find that masking has helped my skin not only look um, a lot younger, but it has helped it look more hydrated. It has helped to address hyperpigmentation problems. Um, you know, anytime that you are putting skincare on your skin and you are, um, you know, leaving it on there for an extended period of time and allowing those ingredients to infuse into your skin, you're gonna do good things. Um, the Karuna masks are definitely very high quality. I really like this one a lot and I will absolutely repurchase it. I just don't know that I would necessarily like waste my time with these iPads because like I said I don't I didn't notice anything extra. The mask though was fantastic so anyway there's that. Um, and then the next thing that I tried was this uh, it's called the Karma Kit. So this has four serum infused cloth masks in it and the four that are in here are the exfoliating face mask, the hydrating face mask, the antioxidant face mask, and the age defying face mask. So there are several different masks um, and what's nice is that um, you know use a different one each week or use two a week. Um, I really like having the different varieties to choose from. Um, I really tend to prefer hydrating masks, um, you know, anti-aging, antioxidant type masks. And this is really nice because this contained all of those things in one little packet. Now, I ended up accidentally throwing um, the little sachets away. Uh, I didn't even think about it. <laughs> to save them to show to you guys, for you guys. The very last one that I did actually two nights ago, um, I was like, crap, I should have been saving these. But this is the last one that I did and it was the exfoliating face mask. And this one is specifically for oily combination and problem skin. This one was really nice, you guys. Um, it really made me feel like my skin was sort of being detoxified in a way. It just felt really fresh and clean afterwards. Um, I loved the feeling of my skin after this one. It didn't leave a feeling of like, you know, super hydration or anything like that, but my skin just felt clean, but not overly dry in any kind of way. Again, not super hydrated, but just felt really nice afterwards. And any skincare that I put over top just, you know, also absorbed very easily. It's not like the serum is so like occlusive that nothing else like can go over top of it. If you wanted to put on a facial oil after using a mask like this, you could totally do that. Um, so I really like this one a lot. Dare I say, 
This was probably my second favorite one. Um, my favorite one was actually the hydrating face mask. Um, I tend to really like hydrating face masks because I love the way that they plump up my skin. So the hydrating face mask is supposed to restore and retain moisture in your skin. They kind of tell you in here in this little packet what each thing does. So that one has natto, a Japanese soybean that helps to retain the natural moisture levels as it exfoliates to boost the look of dull, dehydrated skin. And absolutely, when I took that mask off, my skin just looked so fresh and so, it just looked really youthful. So I love that one. I would actually consider purchasing like just a pack of the hydrating face masks because you can, you can do that with Karuna. Like you don't have to buy these like multi-kit masks you can just you know purchase the hydrating or just the exfoliating so that one i will absolutely be purchasing a pack of to have on hand the antioxidant mask is meant to protect and balance your skin that one was really nice too that one has green tea and african chrys chrysanthemum <laughs> which work to clear the skin of free radicals helping delay the appearance of aging and resist the harsh feel of environmental elements. That particular mask was really nice too, just felt very soothing, um, also hydrating. I would say that all of these were definitely very hydrating with the exception of this one. Not that it was drying, but this one didn't give that same kind of like super plump look to the skin afterwards because I, you know, it's meant to address something different. Um, by the way, this one has uh, lemons, natural citric acid, which helps to exfoliate and reveal a healthy complexion, while pineapple extract hydrates and works to improve the feeling of elasticity. So that's the goal of this guy here. Now the very last one was the age defying face mask. That one was really nice too. So that one has wild yam, which helps to improve cell vitality and renew collagen. Um, it also contains elderberry extracts, which promote the skin um, looking younger and more resilient. That one was really nice too. Honestly, there was not one mask that I used that didn't make my skin feel like a million bucks. All of the Corona masks, um, have hyaluronic and peptides in them. So that hyaluronic acid is, you know, what really for me has helped to increase the plumpness of my skin and anytime that your skin is really well hydrated it just naturally looks younger when your skin is hydrated you don't tend to notice the fine lines as much even the deeper lines look reduced and um, I can definitely attest to that my forehead lines seem much less deep at this point after masking <laughs> now for months and months and months constantly I have noticed a difference um, it's not as drastic as going and getting Botox absolutely not but it reduces the look of all of these lines on my face to the point where I don't even have an interest in getting Botox anytime soon so I'm happy with what skincare is doing all of these also contain aloe vera and chamomile which are hydrating and just very soothing ingredients um, Chinese licorice and vitamin B to help detoxify the skin um, by the way, the cloth that they use is a 100% natural fiber cloth. Um, it, this, these deep condition the skin, they create visibly hydrated, softer, smoother skin. So that's kind of like the, that's the spiel that they give you in here. And I do have to say that I'm very impressed with the line overall. I will purchase more Karuna masks in the future. Um, like I said, you can find them at Ulta, but there's lots of other retailers um, sometimes people tend to find these even at like TJ Maxx. I've never been lucky enough to find them there, but, um, yeah, there's lots of places where you can get these. I will, of course, link them down below for you. Go take a look, read a little bit more about them. They are a little bit more expensive than most sheet masks. I believe that a pack like this goes for $20. Um, they, they tend and si singly, singularly, they tend to be right around eight dollars but when you buy them in a pack of four i think you get a little bit of a better deal on them um i don't know i really i like these a lot um i i want to say they're probably actually more than twenty dollars i'll link them down below check it out down there um like i said i've purchased them in the past and 
have really liked them. I actually have not done a Mask Monday on them um, before. So when I saw this pack, I have purchased this particular pack, I believe, before at Ulta, if I remember correctly. Um, used it and had so many other masks that I was doing at the time that I didn't even bother to... Um, throw them in a mask one day so when I saw this on Octoly I was like this is perfect I can finally review this sucker so anyway let me know if you guys have used the Karuna masks um, down below in the comments I would love to hear your thoughts and thank you so much for watching take care and I'll see you in my next video